Alrighty, y'all. I'm on the Officer Tatum's channel. Um, some of y'all may know him. I, I'm going to assume most of you don't. Um, he is covering the Fresh and Fits, you know, saga between them having been preached, blah, blah, blah. But he goes a different way with it at some point in the video. And uh, that's the part I'm going to cover. It's like, it's like a minute and a half long. I'm going to let it play. Um, to put it into context or perspective, whatever. Again, this is just a clip. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm misrepresenting his point. I really just want to focus on this analogy he's going to address because you, you'll see. But I just want to make it clear that I'm just only, only like two percent of his video. All right. So just in case any of his followers make it over here and think I'm trying to misrepresent him. All right. So let's go. I heard them make a statement to a, a young lady. These and you could tell they're very young and immature. They said to a young lady, and they were arguing with this young lady on a, on a podcast. And she was saying, they said, when I get home from a long day at work, you need to be ready to go, right? You need to be ready to play video games, if you know what I'm saying. And the young lady was like, well, you can't just do that. You can't just say, well, I pay all the bills. I mean, because what the gentleman was saying was, I pay all the bills. I do all the work, and I only, I only want X, Y, Z from you. And so you should be ready at all times to play video games with me. When I come home from work, I should be... And the girl was like, it don't work like that. I'm not your slave. This is not transactional. You need to come and, you know, entice me to play video games with you. But I mean, but the the the, the they were arguing with these women back and forth. Like, no, nah, but I but I don't, you know, you have one job and I have a job. And that's to provide and you to do this with me. And then and then the gentleman compared that to like if somebody breaking the house. Well, I break in the house, I don't have to motive you don't have to motivate me to take and the girl was like, well, wait a minute. You're you comparing playing video games with a life and death situation. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's not the same thing. You're living this house too. Somebody break in, you defending, you ain't just defending me, you defending us and the kids. <laughs> and if you do nothing, you, we all may get killed in there. I mean, it, it's so, the, 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 the logic of immaturity within many. All right, so you, you see the, you heard the, um, the the comparison all right so first yes it is it is a bad analogy it, it was it was a reach uh it happens but i think what i think what he was trying to say was just compare the overall expectancy between men and women all right so one thing that um is that's relevant to this that i've seen um that men have either on any social media twitter youtube etc that they bring up that is bothering men is men, women are allowed to use the make me want to, right? And then men are not. Men are that along with some other stuff. So maybe that should be brought up um, to, I guess, quantify the argument if that word is correctly used here. That they're tired of the, you know, tangibles versus intangibles, which I'll try to tie into. As I go, all right. So, um, you know, let's let's start with that now. So, tangibles versus the intangibles, right? So, women are allowed to be intangible; men have to be tangible. Um, so one, let's say, you know, his tangibles is he has to just the base level, just so we can have a clear comparison and, and no confusion. Let's say a guy makes uh thirty thousand dollars in you know, he's, you know, average to below average and everything else across the board, uh, protection, uh, uh, you know, like I said, the riding part, whatever. And let's say they have the traditional relationship, uh, and she's average to below average and all her intent, right? Um, looks, cooking, cleaning house, care, all that stuff, right? People will look at that guy and make that money and go, man, what do you really deserve? Because he even said at some point in this video when I was looking for his part, um, if you can't go on a date, you know, Steve Harvey's crap. If you can't go for a date, then don't go, blah, blah, blah. You know, people people look at the guy like, dude, you're a bum. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, that's what that is. And if his wife decides that she gets a better deal from a guy for exactly what she still has, I've seen it and I've covered it that 
she's allowed to just leave with no repercussions. All right. So, but if you flip that, and uh, for, you know, in that video I did, I, I asked real life female family members, I asked some chicks on social media, and they all came to the same conclusion that the women in the comment section shit, which is what you expect her to do. She got a better deal, so she bounced. But if a dude for that same 30 grand found a way, however that was, for whatever reason, you found a woman who was, a, you know, better in whatever way, maybe it's a little above average, and about whatever it is. He said, all right, uh, yeah, I'm moving on. So um, she said, moving in here, so you actually have to get out. People look at that like, damn, that's fucked up. And you got to come out of that a little bit of whatever, however much of that 30 grand to pay for her so she can get on her feet. So that situation of times worse intangibles, you can hold men accountable way easier than you can hold women accountable. And men aren't getting compensated for that, that difference of expectations, level of expectations. So men are, are tired. They're, they're getting, they're, they're fed up. Um, let's see, how do I... I'm having trouble. You know, one of the problems that I had, because I was struggling to come up with a comparison um, before I even jumped on here, because I actually wanted to do this a few days ago. And I, I couldn't because I, I'm, I'm just at the point to where I'm sure that there's no comparison to the guy's version of make me want to. In any regards. Any. Like, you, you ain't even got to have the relationship part of it. This in society in general. I've, I said it seven, several videos, so I probably sound like a broken record by now, but, um, like, like the whole high thing. There was literally a, a tweet that I covered where it was just a paragraph long of, a woman doesn't have to say hi to you. She doesn't have to say hi to you on the sidewalk, in a parking lot, on a plane, just all this shit, right? And then you see other videos where somebody covered the Derek Jackson video where this guy, like, damn, I said hi to her. No, it was a different situation, but it was in the same ballpark. But I'm just because it was slightly different, so I won't use it. But let's say you say hi to each other. She can just keep walking and just ignore the resistance. It's like, oh, there's the reason, common reason here is because, well, well, women are in, in danger of like getting beat up because when they say hi, men think that they're flirting. And then next thing you know, when she says no, beat up and dumped in the woods. So she, it's, it's logical for her to be an asshole. Because that's better somehow. But that same chick, the same two people, if she's like trying to change her attire and you just walk on past her, people, like, men these days are so horrible. But you can't say hi. I can hurt myself changing this tire. It sounds simple, but how often do you injure yourself doing simple shit? You, you tell your toe getting out of the chair sometimes or walking past the table. You hurt yourself doing simple stuff. So, yeah, th that high, I, I, I think, can be said without the excuse of I might beat you up. Hell, if she's getting beat up and I just go, you're not going to risk, you're not going to risk your life? What are you doing? You're not going to go possibly get killed? Oh, man. You can't sacrifice a breath to say hi, but understand those differences. All this stuff put together, men are just, men are just tired of it. Now, again, uh, let's see if we can come up with an analogy of just help. It, keep it at sex. If a dude, if a dude uh, doesn't want to have sex with his wife, people be like, what the fuck's going on with him? Gay? Hell, like it's 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 not it's, it's that that level of differences is starting to bug me. But it's, it's it's a problem. Hold on. Like one thing that I I I hear commonly is like this one guy said a tweet, and I've heard this other place too. But this tweet said, "Man, when you like." your wife or calling your wife throughout the day, man, them panties be melting off by the time you get home. It's like, it's, oh, I guess on occasion, yeah. On occasion, like when I was in the long term, well, 
four years, I guess. The, I guess it's long term. You know that can happen, but when it, here's here's another problem, right? The sex thing seems to be such a big deal, and like men shouldn't worry about it that much. But just like this guy does, he says he's not a game guy, but game guys say the same shit. This is essentially a a a a a genuine desire argument. That's essentially what this is. When you think about it, that's that's is if you do this, then you'll get that that genuine. Oh, like it's the same. How do you any anyway? Um, then where was I? So again, yeah, okay, yeah. The 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 tweet where it's like if you just do this, then by the time you get home, those paintings will be melting off the bone. Okay. I need y'all to stop talking to men like this. And I'm not saying it's like it's offensive. That's not my, my point. When I'm when I mean by stop talking to men like this, is y'all gotta know men are pointed to be creatures as far as how they take in stuff. So, like when they try to teach incels or just men in general, don't worry about women. But then they follow it up with worry about the money. And then women will come it's like, then they're worried about what women. It's, that's Stupid. But what this does is it goes, okay, so I do this, and then sex will happen, right? Boom, text, 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 text. Get home. What the fuck? And don't make this is like this is another thing. People like to act as if this sex thing is a male problem or a male concern or a male thing. The other side literally go on your annual protest about their genitals. They had a whole movement so they could choose dicks. Please stop acting as if this is men's problem. We're the ones who are just sex crazed. They, they went through a political warfare for dick stop stop putting that on us i that is so aggravating like we're not both these these creatures who want sex i i just like he's one christ you know the most foreplay chick has ever done with me ever it wasn't bad but still like it's the most uncreative shit ever she put my hand in her jaws Excuse me, again, not wrong, not bad, didn't hate, but that's not creative. Like, it's just this idea that we're just supposed to be these super creative, long, it's like, come on, man. Like, I, I, all right, I think y'all can hear that I'm kind of just tripped over, over collecting my thoughts, so I'm going to wrap it up here in the next couple of minutes the whole point is to that specific argument dudes are just tired of hearing that shit they're tired of it everybody is not the same thing you know actually i can't do one thing that that conversation that that talking point does is it ignores the fact that they women will often get into relationships or marriages for not or in spite of not having that genuine desire, especially for the guy. Maybe they married for stability. Maybe they married for whatever. But this, I. Why, why can't sex be traded within the relationship from the guy? Because I'm pretty sure if a woman said, if we found out, if we saw a situation in which a woman was like, hey, if you keep the kids. On the day I'm supposed to keep, because you're going to go with your friend, but if you let me go out and stay, I'll give you a blowjob. People will be like, I oh, don't know, man. You want to say yes? That sounds like a deal. But if a dude was to try to like offer some scenarios, like instead of foreplay, how about I do this and then I get a blowjob? It's like, oh my god, you're so lazy. Like, why is it that sex can be can't be traded by men, but it can be worked for? That's fucking stupid. If it can be traded for. If it can be worked for, it can be traded. I'll leave it at that. I'll just stop going into, you know, my rants but or rambles. I'll end it at that. 
sex, if sex can be worked for, it can be true. Be right, not positive.